As the Reynolds number in a boundary layer increases, the inertial effects become more dominant relative to the viscous effects, and this causes the boundary layer flow to become unstable. If the free stream is exceedingly smooth, then the first motion observed is a wavy motion called a tolmein schlichting wave. However, if the free stream already contains some perturbations, such as turbulence, then these can trigger transition to turbulence directly within the boundary layer. The image shown here is a view of streaks in a boundary layer taken from above. At the leading edge, the Reynolds number is low. This means that viscous forces are strong. This means that small perturbations tend to be damped, and therefore that the boundary layer is laminar. So if I draw a side-on view of the streak, it comes in straight from the free stream like this, and continues as a straight line within the boundary layer. In the picture shown here, the free stream is very smooth, and we can just see some tolmein schlichting waves in this region here. And viewed from the side, these oscillate up and down. These waves cause secondary instabilities to develop on top of them. Those are in this region here, and this is the beginning of transition to turbulence. And the streak line will start to look something like this. And then at higher Reynolds number, where the inertial forces are strong relative to the viscous forces, one obtains a fully turbulent boundary layer. The thickness of the boundary layer, delta, grows proportional to the square root of x, the distance from the leading edge. The rate at which it grows depends on the rate at which momentum diffuses in from the free stream. In the laminar case, that depends only on the viscosity, but in the turbulent boundary layer, momentum transfer is also occurring due to turbulent eddies. These greatly increase the rate of momentum transfer, and therefore the rate of growth of the boundary layer. This still grows proportional to the square root of x, but now with a greater constant of proportionality.